this video, I'm going to show you a tip. I don't know if anyone's taught on this yet. I'm actually really excited to share this with you because I think you're going to get a lot of mileage out of today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, I do want to let you know that if you're not already a member of my Patreon, you really should consider doing that. And the reason why is because for just $10 a month, you're going to get unlimited access to all of my Madden 22 offensive, defensive ebooks, all my exclusive updates. We update the Patreon probably two to three times a week is our goal right now with new content, whether it be new ebooks or exclusive tips or pro player film studies, which I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing some of those. We're actually gonna launch some uh, pro player film rooms tomorrow uh, in the Patreon. I'm finally gonna get some of that around. I've been a little bit under the weather, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of everything. So anyways, if you're not a Patreon member yet, trust me, you wanna be a Patreon member in the next week or so because we're gonna be dropping so much content over there. It's kinda of long overdue. I got a lot of stuff to share, so really excited uh, about that. Also, in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you a secret little tip that I don't know that anyone has talked about in the Madden community. I was just labbing this up a little bit um, because I wanted to understand the principles so that I could teach it properly. You might have noticed whenever you drop your defensive lineman in a, a zone, sometimes they cover the running back and sometimes they don't. And I wanted to teach today a way that you could actually uh, kind of piece together essentially a cover one robber, quote unquote, style of coverage without actually having to have a three rec hook defender. So to illustrate this, uh, what we're going to do, um, and what this allows you to do is allows you to put zones elsewhere, which is the benefit, of course. Um, but I'm going to grab a couple of man coverages here. I want to grab the uh, cover two man. I've got cover one robber press, cover one linebacker blitz press. And then I also wanted to grab a cover zero, like a, uh, or like a under smoke or, um, you know, you can do whatever. Overstorm Brave is a good example. Okay. Kind of like a Mike Blitz three, if you will. Uh, or Mike Wood Zero. Um, and then we're just going to come out in the cover one hole. And I, the cover one hole is the, the defense that I know best. I think this is the best coverage in Madden 22. Just from like, just you literally just call the coverage and it pretty much does it for you. I think this is probably the best you can find in the game. Okay. But let's talk about this. And I think it's a really, really critical concept. So uh, what we're going to do here is I've got a couple of formations. I'm in the Raiders playbook because because they have a lot of different options here. So like I got just gonna set some audibles. I got curl flat. I got counter go. Um, let's see, I've got uh, tight slots. Let me grab. Let me grab a couple of things here out of this formation. Uh, let me see if I got flood in here. I do. Okay, and um, and we're gonna come out in bunch. And uh, it, it really, we're just. Gonna, it doesn't really even matter. We don't need any specific routes. I just need to show uh, what we're gonna be able to do here. So um, here's the point, or the big takeaway. What we can actually do with the, what I'm about to teach you is we can basically turn uh, a, a knob, essentially, or turn a switch off if a running back goes on a route. And what this allows us to do is kind of hedge our bet. What I mean by that is, um, let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, because a lot of times people block their tight end or they block their running back. So let's say, for example, that you're playing and someone decides they're going to block their tight end. Your man coverage will react differently if that occurs. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is block the tight end, and then we're just going to drop um, this defensive end on the left side in a in a bluff blitz, which puts him in a three rec hook zone. Okay, and what you're going to see here um, is I'm going to wheel the running back just to try to illustrate it. I'm going to just kind of run some routes here, um, you know, just some basic basic routes. Okay. And I just want you to watch how this coverage works, and we'll take a look at this replay of what's going on. So go ahead and pass or throw it away. And now let's jump into this replay and show you what just happened. What happens is with defensive ends, whenever you drop them in a yellow zone on the side of the running back, it doesn't have to be a three rec. Um, it can also be a vertical hook. I think it also can be a quarterback spy, and we're going to test that in just a second. But take a look at this. What happens is, so this guy right here is in man coverage. He's in man coverage on the running back, okay? This guy is in a three red hook or a bluff blitz. Watch what happens here. You're going to notice that he, the running back goes out, so he goes and guards him, okay? Now look at this. This guy and these these two guys together are both in three red hook zones. Also, 32 is the guy that covers the tight end. So now we basically have three defenders in the middle of the field that are guarding nothing. Notice that this guy actually plays the best out of all of them. As you can see here, he actually rises up to the crosser and kind of shadows that. But again, these guys right here, literally guarding nothing. 
literally guarding nothing okay so now what I want to do is kind of illustrate the same basic principle um, the same basic principle to the other side so let's say we get a concept that looks like this okay and to illustrate this what we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna take this guy right here Kyle Duggar um, and we're actually gonna put him in a flat zone and then we're gonna take this guy um, we're gonna take this guy right here Hightower put him in a flat zone and then we're gonna take Vinoy and put him in a three rack so you see it looks like that okay now I want you to see what happens you're gonna notice a little bit of a nuance notice here that nobody covers the running back in man-to-man -man coverage okay really really important distinction why because now we kind of know how some of this uh, principally works the coverage rules essentially under the hood kind of change because there's no principle that dictates that this guy's in man coverage in bunch it's because of, also one of the thing I want to hit on is in this bunch notice also here who what is the guy that is in so this guy right here is in man coverage on the tight end and notice what he does instead of guard Dynan doesn't go on a route so what does he do he stays in here and becomes essentially a quarterback spy we want him to go cover the running back but he doesn't we also want the three wreck to cover the running back and look at this he doesn't do that either so you have two three wrecks again that are basically kind of doing nothing obviously you didn't put this kind of hard flat but anyway you see the idea okay so now um, I want to go to a different formation and show you how these rules are kind of a little bit different so if I were to go to a uh, bunch tight end and run PA boot over where I block my tight end and then maybe do uh, obviously just kind of like a, a little little bomb concept here let me see if I can get my player to stop being weird but anyway so you see here I'm blocking my tight end everybody else is on a route now watch what happens so if I'm in this formation and the tight end does not go on a route but the tight end is on the same side as the running back you're gonna notice that it's gonna react significantly differently uh, to how this is gonna play out and I'm gonna show you how that works so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna flat these both of these guys again we're gonna bluff blitz this guy because he's on the same side as the running back and now I just want you to watch kind of what happens um, in terms of how this coverage is gonna kind of react what you're gonna notice here is oh look this outside cornerback on the right guards him why well the reason why is because he the tight end and the running back are on the same side when the tight end running back are on different sides, it's different principles and different adjustments that you need to be aware of when you're crafting your covers. Let me give you another example. Let's go to um, let's go to trips tight end. So let's say we're going to run trips tight end, and we know what we want to do. We want to go ahead and go with this setup right here at a curl flat. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Um, it's kind of similar because it is basically the same blocking scheme. But what we're going to do here is we're going to flat both of these guys. We're going to three wreck Judon. And I just want you to watch who guards the running back. What you're going to notice right here is, look at this, the outside cornerback guards the running back, and then you have basically man coverage across the board. So you see kind of the nuance of this concept. When the tight end is on the same side um, as the running back, you can actually take a lot of, I think, significant advantage of that. But when the tight end is not on the same side, it does change the rules. Um, let me give you a better example. Let's take a look at gun tight now. So in gun tight, you see the tight end is on the right and the running back is on the left. So if I'm in a situation like this, well, I'm going to go ahead and three wreck and then I'm going to flat and I'm going to flat and I'm going to block my tight end. And when I snap this ball, take a look at what happens. Nobody covers the running back in man to man. And obviously the hard flat covers him, but nobody covers him in man to man coverage. So when you're thinking principally and, and, and spread is a little different. The reason why is because it's very unlikely they're going to block somebody. Um, but doubles, let's go with, um, let me see if I can find a gun doubles here. I don't know if I have one actually. Uh, we can maybe create one. We can create doubles actually out of tray. But like, let's say you get doubles. So let's say you get this, and then let's say they motion this guy across. And I'm going to do just a very simple concept here. But we're going to do something like this, and then I'm going to take the running back. You know what, let's do a, fit, a wheel, just kind of, or just a streak or something, just to kind of show the coverage so now again tight end is on the same side as the running back okay so now who's guarding the tight end well the, this this uh cornerback right here or the safety right so if we flat and we flat and we three wreck notice something real quick you're going to notice that who guards the running back oh the guy that was on the tight end just like trips tight end so you see kind of some of the pieces of this it, it does significantly determine that the running back is on 
the op or the running back and the tight end have, can't can't be on the same side or um, need to be on the same side for you to be able to hedge your bet that to that degree, right? To that degree. Um, but now what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about a universal thing that you can do that I think is really interesting. So let's talk about this when the running back and the tight end are not on the same side. And let's say, for example, that you're you're running one of these coverages, okay? And, and again, this is kind of universal, okay? It doesn't matter what coverage, uh, it really doesn't. What I like to do with this is um, as long as there's someone in man coverage on the running back, for whatever reason, you're going to see this swap off. So let me show you this out of um, cover one linebacker blitz. So this is cover one linebacker blitz. If I three wreck Kyle Van Noy on that side, which I did, or bluff blitz, I apologize, is the actual adjustment. Watch this. You see the swap off. Now notice who's the three wreck? They swap. They literally change responsibilities. And that's what I wanted to kind of hit on. Because, and this is why it's important. This is why it's really, really important if you're watching this video. Because the reason this is important is because we want a linebacker to be a three rec hook defender if possible. But if the running back goes out, we want man coverage on it. However, with the way the principle of pressure works in Madden, we get better sheds if the three rec comes out of a bluff blitz because the game is coded to say he's blitzing. Okay, so because of that, now we're able to basically get a three wreck and not even have to necessarily have it. So we can go to two man under if we want to, because now we know oh, this guy's in coverage. So now what we this allows us to do defensively, okay, is we can say this guy is going to be in a three wreck hook defender. And then what we can do is we can actually take uh, this this guy Judon. Uh, we could potentially man him up, or we could drop him into a zone. So we could drop him into a hard flat, for example. And then we can take this guy and drop him into a curl flat and use her this safety. And now all of a sudden, you have a little bit more complete coverage, but you're still going to get really good sheds, and you're still going to have a three rack if the running back goes on a route. So let's say he goes to an out route. Notice what's going to happen on a two man. You see the swap off, and as you can see, the coverage plays pretty well. Now, it's best to do this out of cover one, by the way. It is 100% best to do this out of cover one, okay? Um, cover one has the rules built within it, but but again, it, it a little bit better rules in my opinion. So we're saying, let's say we're in this, in, this, in this defense right here. What we can do is we can uh, bluff blitz the defensive end on the right. We can uh, purple zone the linebacker on the left. We can actually reman up that guy on the on the running back, the middle linebacker there, and then we can take this backside guy and put him in a curl flat. So now we have two curl flats and a three rec and a user over the middle of the field. And let's say they run, um, you know, something like this. Well, what you're going to notice is you see the swap off. Now Donta Hightower is still the three rec hook defender. So you see what I'm saying? And that's how you can kind of craft this coverage. Now let's say for example, let's say for example, I didn't want to teach on this a little bit here. But let's say, for example, that they block the running back. I'm not, you know, again, rarely will they do this because it is man coverage principle. But let's say they do block the running back. So uh, we drop that guy to purple, we drop that guy in man coverage, and we drop this guy to purple. So you see this is kind of what we get. Well, let's say we block a running back here. And to illustrate a concept, we're going to just do kind of a little drag post, something like this, okay? Just something simple. But I want you to watch how this is going to react. Notice, I want you to really watch this linebacker who is guarding the running back. Watch what happens here. Look at that. Now he's double teaming the tight end, and you still have the three wreck over the middle of the field. Okay? So you see how the coverage can kind of adapt a lot better whenever you use that bluff blitz. And the beauty of this is you still get really, really good sheds because you're technically, according to the coding of the game, blitzing four, when in reality you're still only blitzing two people. Okay, so I know this video went a little bit longer than I anticipated, um, but you can you can also the cool part too is let's say you want to drop safeties, you don't want to drop linebackers. Cover one rob or press is the same basic concept, but now as you can uh, so you see like Duggar is in, in coverage, right? So I can bluff blitz Fenoy, I can purple McCordy, and now we get the same basic concept, right? The same basic concept. If you take a look here, you get the swap off, and you get the three wreck in the middle of the field just like that. And now you're now you're in a really cool position, and the beauty of this is this this um, this principle does work 
uh, let's let me show you one last thing and then I'll get out of your out of your hair here um, we talk about this a lot more in the in the patreon by the way if you haven't joined the patreon yet join it it's really really good but now so let's say for example we get a concept like this out of bunch tight end okay and this I'm just gonna kind of dial something up here but we're gonna go crosser we're gonna go curl like that yeah come on there we go okay um, so what I want is what I want to show here real quick we're in cover one <clears throat> and we do the same basic principle that I just talked about right we're gonna bluff blitz the defensive end on the on the running back side and then what we're gonna do we've got this guy in man coverage on the running back right um, and so now we're gonna drop this guy in the purple and then we might want to say well we're gonna drop this guy in the purple right or the hard flat or whatever or spy him or whatever right whatever zone you want um, and they're going to go five out, which is rare out of bunch tight end, by the way. What it is rare, but they are going to go five out. Okay? I want you to notice what happens. Same exact thing. You get a swap off, and then you get the three rec. Okay? So that's just something to have in your tool belt. I think one of the better ways that you can kind of still be able to get that middle of the field three rec, which is so good, but at the same time still not kill yourself on the outsides and you get the right player playing the three rec, which is that middle linebacker, not the deep safety, and also not the defensive tackle, okay? So thanks for watching the video. I know I went a little bit long. We talk a lot more about this stuff in the Patreon. This is just a brief example of something we're gonna put in the Patreon. We actually do way more detail than what I talked about. We're really way technical, and uh, we're trying to be really deep in the game. So if you're watching still, you watched all the way through, chances are you enjoyed the video. So head on down to the Patreon, sign up for it. It's only $10, and for only $10, you literally get all the content you'd ever need to be really good at this game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description. Head on down there and click it and go check it out.